Thank you for clicking on the video. Nerd Mimic here. Just want to talk about three games we got for the channel here that unfortunately I did not finish for various reasons. Uh, I guess the main reason is there's a lot of great games out there right now. There's Starfield on Xbox. There's uh, Baldur's Gate 3 for PC. There's Diablo 2. And of course for PlayStation 5, Spider-Man 2 just came out. So in regards to One Piece here, I was never interested in the manga. And however, when I saw the Netflix live action show, man, I, I was really blown away uh, with what they did for that show. And so I'm sorry I missed out on the manga. I don't think I have time to read all those books. So I thought maybe getting the game would be great because I heard this was an original story by the creator. And it is a pretty fun game. I've actually got maybe 75% way through it until I hit the Water Colossus. Uh, um, boss battle and basically I would have to grind up to past him uh, I guess that is a fallacy of some of these old style JRPG games that you do have to do some grinding and I just didn't feel like I wanted to do that as I saw most of the game at 75% and uh, you know appreciate it and uh, I think I'm gonna move on so this game here Oolong uh, is sort of like a, a Dark Souls game or um, Elden Ring, and it is a tough uh, combat fantasy RPG. Um, however, the story is not as engaging. I got maybe 10%, 15% away through it, but I didn't find the story as engaging. So that's a, a shame. Um, and then this game here, you might've heard about this, Armor Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. This is also by the actual makers of Elden Ring. And so just like that game or Dark Souls, uh, it's supposed to be similar in nature. However, mech base, I think uh, this is not good for a couple reasons. Uh, most of the missions you go on are short, sometimes just three minutes long. And once you're done with the mission, you sort of just end it there. Even though you might be in a group of enemies, it sort of just cuts off right there. You don't have to like, uh, escape to a waypoint or anything like that. I think it's a little bit odd. So it really takes you out of the uh, reality of the moment. Um, so it's more like an action arcade game than a uh, combat simulator, I would say. Um, so uh, I didn't finish it as well uh, for that reason. So I, I just like how you have to constantly modify your mech. Uh, I know that's a big draw for this game, but I prefer a little bit more simplified approach. I do like the front mission games uh, more, if you ever heard of that series. So these are my games of shame here. Uh, my daughter, on the other hand, she just finished Breath of the Wild. I'll play that clip in a second. Right now she's working on Tears of the Kingdom. So enjoy that clip. She finished the game 100% herself. And she's just nice, so I'm proud of her and her four-year-old brothers cheering her on. That was so close, yes. Shining God. 